All right, don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. So, um, yeah, y'all know I've been busy and all that. But um, I just want to come talk to y'all about uh, Facebook's new policy on monetization. You have to have, like, 10K followers or video views or something for you. They can start monitoring your stuff. And I was watching the bias shows on video. And uh, I think uh, Lovely Teeth, too. And somebody else. So, I just want to come talk to y'all about that. Uh, I, th- I do... Um, it's an up and win because, yeah, I think they are trying to prevent, like, these throwaway channels or in these um, people using other people's content. Because I know I had another friend... Is um, he does a lot of Marilyn Monroe um, stuff? His channel is called Love for Norma. Uh, you can find it right here on YouTube. Love for no- Norma, Julia, Julio um, Castanados. I'm not to pronounce his name, last name, but he has a lot of stuff for uh, Love for Norma. And I know some he, somebody took his video. Somebody took his video and, and uploaded it to their channel, and then he had to uh, file a dispute for that person to take it down. And I've also had that as well. People I'm um, using my stuff are using, uh, are taking my video and making a th- thumbnail and then monetization on this shit. Because y'all know I've been on YouTube since ever since it started, but uh, I wasn't making videos like that. But some some of the videos I had was popping some. But yeah, people doing that too. So. Um, they trying to have people with authentic content to make it, but at the same time, I think uh, television broadcast, TV networks like CNN, uh, Fox, uh, uh, My13, HBO, all of them, I think they feel some type of way because not a lot of people is watching TV anymore. You have a lot of people that, um, a lot of people like me, I work 9 to 5 or 6 to 12, all these crazy hours, so I'm not able to be at home and watch TV like that. Sometimes I do watch TV if when and something's on, and sometimes I don't. And a lot of people are used to watch TV all online. Even some of the older people who grew up when the first TV was made, some of them are online now, watching a uh, phone, uh, YouTube videos and whatnot. So I guess you get to see other people's um, responses to stuff that's going on. You also get to see in somebody else's life. You get to see a lot. You know, I feel like YouTube is the gateway between, you know, yeah, my stuff may not be good for TV, but, you know, it's good enough to be online or it's a gateway to fame or it's a lot of gateways to a lot of stuff. So I feel like a lot of y'all need to start supporting uh, people with good content, like the advice show, like Lovely T, like, um, damn, so, um, Valencia, um, one um, my the product junkie XOX, um, and a lot of other people that I watch habitually, um, whenever I have the chance and time, you know, <laughs> and and support myself, you know, like the advice show say, he's, it's not a lot of money in what we do, like we talk about real life content, I talk about real stuff, I make videos about. You know, stop being friends with people ain't trying to be down with you. You know, a lot of people, you, you can go through, you can be there for all the worst times, get them to where they need to be, uh, get them feeling good again, and they'll go spend their best days, their best feelings with people who don't even give a damn about them. And I've been recently going through this, so this is why I talk from experience. And you ain't got to apologize or, or uh, try to please nobody. That's what my last video was about. You know, I talk about real stuff, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of money in that. And there's not a lot of money in people wanting to hear the truth. So when you tell the truth, you have a lot of people love and hate you at the same time. But you keep telling the truth because you're about that life. And there is a lot of money in shucking and jiving and cooning. First of all, I don't do this for money. I do do this because I feel like it's very therapeutic for me. It's very, I get to, you know, show you guys all my crazy looks, you know, I get to express myself, you know, and maybe this is a gateway to, you know, how I become famous, because my dream is to be an actor, and maybe singer or songwriter, 
I'm even trying out rapping. I got a, a couple of flows. I'm trying, you know, and I can dance very well. So, you know, I get to show all of you guys that stuff that I may not have gotten to show you if there was no YouTube or there was no internet, you know. But a lot of people want to, you know, make people like the Cash Me Outside bitch famous, make her shit go viral. But stuff like me, you know, I can't, you know, get popping because people think uh, my content is whack or whatever, you know. So I feel like you guys need to start supporting these people so that, that the TV, these big networks cannot shut um, people down like the Vice show and all and Tommy Sutton Air and all of them, you know. Because this is, I mean, they keep they keep it 100, they keep it true, you know, that's why I like stuff like that. You know, it's stuff like me, like support me, you know. A lot of stuff, I didn't buy, I didn't, um, for my videos, I didn't buy, I bought a new camera, I didn't buy some expensive makeup, and um, some hair and all that. It, like I said, you know, I take quality and, and try to put time into what I do and to what... I look like how I present myself and how, you know, to entertain you guys, you know, you know, this is just, you know, you know, the, I love entertainment, you know, I'm an entertainer. And so I feel like a lot of, um, I feel like you guys should support people like me and like people like them, make their stuff go viral because uh, like I said, it's not a lot of money when you tell the truth and you proud to be black and all of that. You can make a lot of money, and I'm not calling out names, but you can make a lot of money shucking and jiving and cooning, you know, cooning for the coin. How much you, how much, uh, how much I want to bet if I made a video with my hair nappy talking about, oh, you know, slavery need to be back because, you know, all these lazy black ghetto EBT people need to work. That shit will go viral. And I do feel like most people do use EBT. That's ratchet and ghetto, but... Like I said, I don't believe in slavery. Slavery was a horrible time. It took 300 years for us to become um, free. And then, and then, too, you know, it was a catch with that. Because if you go to jail, you legally a slave. You are legally a slave if you go to jail. And how many people in jail? Black and Mexican. But, um, either way, getting back on topic, you know, either you could shuck and jive and coon. You know, I could eat a big-ass watermelon. You know, that should have go viral. And I'll get probably get a lot of sponsors to do that. But, um, or you can make quick money by, like I said, cooning or taking your clothes off and talking about sex all the time. How many people's asses I've seen on YouTube or Instagram and they ain't really talking about nothing, but they just, they butt naked so they got a bunch of followers. And then they take their clothes off and show their ass, but when they put clothes on, they only get like what, 100 likes. But when they take their clothes off and bent over in, in a doggy style position, they get like a thousand likes. And this is both female and male, because you have a lot of females already been, that's the dawn of time, but like, but you already know about females, but males, you know, either they bis gay or bisexual or or they're gay baiting and they know that guys like to look at this type of content so a lot of people that made careers off that you know using um, the gay community or whoever as well as the black community or anybody community really so there's a lot of money to be made off that you know but I'm not about that you know I, I think I can keep my clothes on not saying I'm against nudity but I feel like it's became a formula now after Kim Kardashian, after all these celebrities and whatever. Because a lot of people feel like, oh, well, celebrities do it, so I can do it too. You know how many people take nude pictures with their face in it now? Back in the day, I was. T they told us when we did that, you know, we wasn't going to get no job, we wasn't going to get nothing, you know. We get all the wrong attention now. You got a lot of these millennials doing it, taking their clothes off. They're taking nude photos with their photo, face in it, and they have no problem with this. I mean, if you get hired... So first of all, somebody do hire you, they might have seen these pictures, so they might think they have a chance with you. Well, I'll give you a raise if you give me, if you raise, raise that ass. You know, there's something to think about. But again, a lot of the wrong stuff does go viral. I feel like y'all should start supporting content like me, start supporting, start supporting people like the Vice Show, people like me, people like Lily T, Valencia, so forth and so forth. You know, if you want to donate to me, 
five dollars is all I have. I think five dollars is good. Y'all spend ten times more of that on the iPhones and all that. You know, all the stuff that only took, um, you might spend two hundred dollars on some shoes that took only what probably twenty dollars, no more than fifty dollars to make in um, Taiwan. So support, so surely you can uh, slide, um, slide five dollars my way to um, keep me looking fly and fresh. But like I said, I work nine to five, so I can keep myself looking like looking like that. But like, there's so many people that's just famous or known because of their looks, and they really don't have anything to say. Like Eminem, he said uh, about people with a bunch of gibberish. When they move, but they lips, they uh, just a bunch of gibberish. Like, there's some people like, how the hell is it? How the hell did they get famous? But like Queen Latifah said, so so the fuck what? A lot of whack niggas went platinum. All right. Anyway. Anyways, thank you for listening. Comment, questions, concerns. Leave in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the X on some real ish. Peace.